All right, I'm gonna be playing this game here. Hey kids, my name is Captain Coolimbus. You probably know me as one of the world's most famous time travelers. Today, I want to introduce my <laughs> new interactive- I wasn't kidding when I said suck puppet. Traveler's Guide to Past Deliquacy. That's the name of the game, by the way. You see, the life of a time traveler is not just about temporal paradoxes and accidental affairs with dead ancestors. Sometimes, we have the opportunity to immerse ourselves in the cultures of the past and discover one... Am I going to cook? I don't know what I'm going to do. Long since we lost. I just know there's a sock puppet. Get cooking. My assistant, Big Flimbo, will guide you to our hard Who doesn't like sock puppets? What on earth? What is that? That? Tamales! Tamales. What a tremendous piece of history. You can find them as early as 9,000 years BC. Everyone was eating them. The Mayans, the Aztecs, the Toltecs, you name it. They were wolfing down tamales as if there was no tomorrow. And for many of them, there wasn't. Mm -hmm. When Captain Coolimbus made his first trip to Tenochtitlan, <laughs> that's killing me. right after Hernan Cortes freed the place from the tyranny of the old gods. Back then, people were putting all types of shit in their tamales, flamingos, axolotls, even some human meat. <laughs> Let me tell you, our conquistadors, they were quite disgusted by that stuff. But wouldn't you know it, very soon, everyone was eating tamales, even all good people of Europe. Of course, now you can find your bland tamales all over the world, from New York to Beijing. Bland? They're not good ones if they're bland. Taste better than the one Cortez and his men ate, looking down at the doomed splendor of the Mesoamerican civilization. Step one: buy some fuzzy sock. That's that's our training program. I don't know why that loaded now. The fuck? Uh, don't panic. I will fix it, and we will get back to cooking very soon. Uh, in the meantime, just relax. <laughs> what am I doing? Collecting ingredients. Time travel is Directive Fifty Eight. Avoid conflict with any individual of the past unless it is absolutely necessary for obtention of a new recipe. I, I don't like what I'm looking at. What is... Apples! Tamales do not have apples! Okay. Hey, Gami, what's up? I love the, the peaceful ocean sounds. Step two, gl glue some googly eyes onto the sock. The fuck? Add chilies to the blender, okay. Add onion, garlic, broth. Yeah. uh oh. Uh, I I'm not doing it in order. Onion. 
garlic. Hey, in, in you go. In, into the blender. And broth. Yeah, just the, the whole bottle, yeah. Don't worry. It's edible. Tomatillos to the blend. Oh, it's not an apple, it's a tomatillo. Got it. And blend. Add onions to the pot. Add salt and... human. The whole bottle, of course, for flavoring. Okay, and... Cumin, please. You're going everywhere. Wait, can I just... The whole pig. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get uh ah. No, nope, no. Nope. Okay, there we go, there we go. Good. Oh god. The fucking onion is everywhere! Where's your passion? Sorry, chef. The gravity appears to be low, chef. Flamingo. Pig is just going every white flamingo. I, c I can't get anything in the pot without it. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> just... oh, axolotl. Okay, mix masa, broth, and lard. So there's the masa. Which, by the way, like, you know, families have their preferred masa brand, and like, families deal masa here. You gotta find the correct family that sells it. It's kind of crazy. Put the masa on the corn husks. Or, the banana leaf. We use banana leaf. Where'd my masa go? Place meat on husk. Okay. Wrap and steam. How, how, do, how do I wrap them? Oh, there they are. Yeah, I did that. Got to put them in a big pot. Hey, look at you, you made it. Isn't that it? If so, please share, subscribe, and give me that five star rating. There's only four stars. What do you mean, five star rating? <laughs> it's, it's, it's good coffee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. very, very good coffee. Mm. Anyway, um, thank you for your rating. You're welcome. And did you ever wonder how it feels like to travel back in time and get to discover some awesome dishes of the past? Lucky you, because we developed some new type of simulation that will allow you to experience time travel at home. Yeah. So, are you ready to dive headfirst into the mucus of history? The mucus of history? The primordial orgy. What? <laughs> Just follow me. Primordial orgy chat. Use the arrows to walk. 
Right. Okay. I mean, this just reminds me of, like, old CDs, but educational ones, except this is far from educational. Like, carrots? Something? Historians will tell you that fuck is going on over here over the Neanderthals because of better tools and cultural <laughs> assimilation <laughs> but in truth all right Walter here's what I need you to do I need you to go back in time to the prehistoric century Walter and just start campfire I can't do the voice but you know just One whole salted taste. What is that? Oryx? I mean, be honest, when I said sock puppet earlier, was, was this what you were expecting? Very, very sensitive camera. Nuts and berries. Three cups of hazelnuts, two cups of acorns, three cups of blackberries. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 sorry. Sorry, excuse me. Anyway, did you like it? Uh, I admit it can feel awkward sometimes, uh, going to the past, stealing some recipes, but keep in mind, the past, by definition, has already happened. <laughs> so it's totally fine to profit from it. Mm -hmm. I like the sense of humor. What is, what is this? Colombo chicken and fries. I am intrigued. Captain Columbus. Okay. the Caribbean sometimes around the second half of the 19th century. Back then, the British had already abolished slavery, which came with some complications. Who was going to work the plantations? So the British thought, let's just invite our friends from India. Yes, and so they did. Oh, they this did. reminds me of, um, oh, damn it, what was the name of that show? And the Indians came with the curry dishes. Wonder shows them. Like, a, uh... A TV show that was guys as something for kids, but it was it was not for kids. Excuse me, did it just say tasty ejaculate of the what? You have to understand that oil What? It's only in the second half of the Dinavian siècle that the French used their colonies to produce peanut oil for the masses. Yes. After that, fries quickly became the food of the proletariat. A little oily crunchiness. Crunchiness, crunchy, crunch, crunchiness for the laboring man. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of Wonder Shows them. Okay. Put fries into the fryer. First step. You add chicken to the pan. Then you add the Colombo spice with the jar and everything. Add salt, lime, and ch chili. Not ch not chili, chili. <laughs> you cut the vegetables in the air so that you can get the perfect slice every time. Though eggplant is technically a fruit, not a vegetable. Captain Cool. Visited the Caribbean sometimes around the second half of the 19th century. We add okay. more of these slavery. And these complications. Add the beige the bowl. So the British thought, let's just invite our friends from India. 
Yes, and so they did. Gave the Indians some fake contracts and got them to work. Um. And the Indians came with the curry dishes. That's how you get the Caribbean Colombo. I may have broken the game. It says to add vegetables, but I don't have vegetables. Oh, there we go. And French fries, you have to understand that all. Hey, you add uh, chicken broth. The whole jar. You let it simmer. As the room fills up with the green goo from your cooking. This is just lime. I don't know what this accent is, but I think it's good cooking accent. Hey, look at you, you made it. Did you like it? If so, please share, subscribe, and give me that five star rating. What do you mean five star rating? There's only four stars! Do Neanderthals weren't enough? Do you need more? I mean, I, I like this idea. Kings and queens and little people. This is my sense, my sense of humor. It's okay. just weird. Then follow me to the dark ages. Hey, Lisa. It's uh, 7 a.m. What did you miss? I wish I could explain it. I wish I could. Really wish I could. What is what? A god of the past, not the Jesus man, an older god of the pagan kind. Maybe some time travel. Sock puppets. It might even have been me. Mm -hmm. Why did they have abnormal sized heads and? This is frightening. In the of the Middle Ages, they weren't really great cooks, to be honest. It's far more fun to steal some recipes from the Mayans or the ancient Arabs. I'd agree they'd have better cooking. Beef. What? Beef. It's the style wide. It's still with. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Quarter teaspoon of clove. Quarter teaspoon of mace. Quarter teaspoon of cubebs. Half median onion minced. One tablespoon of parsley. Half a teaspoon of sage. Water. Three slices of bread. Quarter cup of vinegar. It just looks like gruel. It's like. I guess it's a stew. Just the color was not very appetizing. Okay, that's even worse. <laughs> Half a cup of blanched almonds. 355 mils of white wine. 750 grams of chicken. 25 grams of sugar. An eighth of a teaspoon of clove. Quarter teaspoon of mace. Eighth of a teaspoon slash 20 grams-ish of pine nuts. Half a teaspoon of salt. 15 mil of white wine vinegar. Half a teaspoon of rose water. Quarter teaspoon of ground ginger. I can't- I can't imagine these recipes are real. I wouldn't recommend trying them. Given what we've seen. Beer soup. Half a bottle of white beer. Cloves. Three... Tablespoons of butter? Two slices of rye bread, salt to taste. This, this can't be real. This is just like a whole bottle of beer and then you just put butter, bread, and salt. That cannot be real. Well, the, what the, what, huh? What do you mean, Apple? Did you just eat that? 
Didn't I tell you never to eat food from the past? But you can watch just how they cook, click the get that recipe, but never eat it. I guess maybe I didn't tell you. I mean, you know, this is a simulation, but the way these things work is that we extract data from the past and... Who am I kidding? You wouldn't understand. Whoa! Oh no. I broke it. Step three, insert your hand into the sock until you reach the brain. Oh no. What's happening? You broke it. You totally broke it. Is this a Halloween game? <laughs> what, the what the hell? What am I looking at? Uh... Oh no, this is, this is, uh, this is unhinged. No, you're not. I will be soon if you don't fix this. The past should be contained. There's no voice. Go back, harvest recipes, let the past fade. As simple as that. No, this is this is definitely weird. I Granola bar and coffee. Oh, you want some coffee? No problem. We're gonna make some coffee. Who doesn't love some good warm cup of that dark juicy sludge? When the Turks brought that sexy concoction to Europe, not only did they produce what some call the Great Awakening, pumping some caffeinated thirst for discovery into the dried up veins of the good people of the old world, it also allowed us to get filthy rich. Yes, 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 yes. Without all those coffee plantations, there would be no time traveling today, you know, because progress is not cheap. And what about those granola bars? Gran gran granola? Granola bars, yes. Mm, what about them? I've never had a granola bar. In the 19th century, they didn't just want to make a good cereal bar, no. They were aiming to create a new food for a new superhuman being. Healthy, strong, vegetarian and pure. A new man with the strength to conquer That can't be real. Okay, we make some coffee now. Now, this is what you do. You get some honey, a whole jar of honey, and you heat it up in a frying pan. Then you get a whole bag of oats with the plastic and everything. You put the oats inside inside the, the pan with the jar. Hold on. The hell? What? Okay. Then you add some nuts. But, but what? The, 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 why is the kitchen on fire? <laughs> Just trying to make coffee. How do I stop things from being on fire? Uh oh. Squeeze the brain until it belongs to you. Yeah, uh, 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 okay. You have to restart the simulation, reboot the whole thing. You see, the problem with food is that it contains, we call them, tasty rays. <laughs> I guess you might call them ghosts or something, but we specialists, we call them tasty rays. Oh my god, what is that thing approaching me?
Yep. I think. Look at them. All the tasty rays have I been. I think that might be enough internet for today. A time traveler is supposed to go back in time, steal some recipes, and bring them back. Then you can do what you want with them. Open a franchise or whatever. But you do not eat them on sight. Anyway, we start that simulation quickly now. There must be a switch somewhere. Go! A switch? <laughs> this is not what I was expecting. It's alright. From time to time, I do play games that might all those tasty rays might be on the side of weird. Just, just a little bit. All those recipes we stole from them, but we are from the present. We can do what we want with the past. It has already happened. Right, but where's the switch you speak of? I don't like that they're T-posing on top of one another. <laughs> I have to be so deformed. I mean, I don't know, would you count this as art? But you see, this represents humanity. In some way, we're all just a floating body in the middle of an orange void. It's a metaphor. I don't like that they seem to be getting more and more deformed <laughs> the further away I walk from it. Alright, I mean, I'm heading to whatever that big blur is. Uh, okay, that looks like it's, it's a panel with uh, the sock puppet. Bloody amateur. If any of those tasty rays escapes the pass, we will have a problem. The shit makes you thick, sick. Undigested pass could make the whole world fix it. The how? What do you mean fix it? Wait, was that building always there? What is this? That's the switch. Reboot. Come on. How? O okay. Step five, move your hand and say what you have to say shamelessly. <laughs> it's just, is this really just going to be a sock puppet just slowly but surely taking over a person? You know me as one of the... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not, not feeling right. Wait, wait. Oh, 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 oops. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah. I'm sorry, I'm not feeling that good. I think that, that could not be Oh, God. Oh my god. Can you just cut it? Cut it. I just make a break, right? I'm sorry. Bury the past where it belongs. 
Oh no, this is definitely like low key just a horror game, isn't it? I mean, that's just fake slime. Impressive. The hell. That, that's it <laughs> alright that was time traveler's guide I wish I, I could tell you what I just played but um nope alright well if you watch this later on YouTube hope you enjoyed um yeah <laughs> if you do want to support the channel over there you can do things like click the like button subscribe or watch me play other things that May or may not involve sock puppets by clicking any of those videos that pop up at the end. Thanks to those that do that. Appreciate it a lot. It does help the channel. So, 